two starving street dogs hours from death look unrecognizable after being saved by an animal lover and starting a new life in the UK. English pointer Elsa and German short-haired pointer Hugo were so emaciated that their bones poked through their fur, with one of them just hours from death. But after being nursed back to health by Andrea Siddons, who organized for them to be flown to Britain by a Boeing 747 carrying medical supplies during the lockdown, they are now a picture of health. The 51-year-old had been reduced to tears when she first locked eyes on them wandering the streets of Cyprus. Andrea, who runs Cyprus Dog Rescue from her home outside Larnaca on the island, rescued five-year-old Elsa at the end of February and Hugo 18 months in early March. She had planned to eventually send them to new homes in the UK on commercial flights, but as coronavirus spread, all non-essential passenger planes were grounded. Instead, the animal lover teamed up with British Airways, its sister company, IAG Cargo, Pet Transport Service, AIA Pets, and dozens of other animal rescues across Cyprus to charter a Boeing 747 cargo jet bringing food, perishables, and essential medical supplies to the UK to take Hugo and Elsa, as well as 34 other dogs and 14 cats, to new homes too. Heartwarming video footage shows the neglected four-legged friend's journey from painfully thin to making the four-hour cargo flight Larnica to London Heathrow earlier this month and finally playing happily in their new temporary home, Sanctuary Dogs for Rescue in Eccles, Salford. Rochelle-born Andrea, who currently has 32 dogs in her home-based rescue, said, When I first saw Elsa, I thought she was going to die. She was in such a terrible state. I saw a video of her first and it just broke my heart. I was trying desperately to get her out of the pound the same day as I thought she might die overnight. She was hours from death. Then I was at the vet when someone brought Hugo in. He just stood there, with his bones hanging out. It was so upsetting, I burst into tears again. When I saw them in real life, both she and Hugo looked much worse. I was heartbroken. When they finally came to me and wagged their tails and were so loving, it made me cry all over again. But within weeks, they had transformed themselves. They did so well so quickly, which is how they got on the flight. Now you can't even tell that they were the same dogs. We normally send dogs back to the UK on commercial flights and have been doing this for many years, but they stopped landing in Cyprus due to the coronavirus lockdown. She added, This is the first time we have put dogs on a cargo flight, and it was a lot of work and stress because it was something we had never done before. There were lots of restrictions we had to follow, but it was almost like a dream come true how well it went in the end. It was such an amazing feeling to see Hugo and Elsa happy and playing together when they got to the UK. It made it all worthwhile. The 36 dogs and 14 cats brought back to the UK on the flight were all abandoned and left on the streets across Cyprus. After the pets were carefully loaded into the plane's hold-in crates, BA staff and animal handlers ensured they received specialist care and attention to keep them calm during the journey. After the animals landed at Heathrow, a specialist pet courier then drove through the night to bring Hugo and Elsa to Dogs for Rescue, where they are staying until they can be adopted by new families after the coronavirus lockdown is over. The rest of the the animals traveled by road to Gatwick's Animal Reception Centre before being safely collected by new owners from across the UK. British Airways Captain Paul Walker Northwood, who flew the plane and has previously adopted four pooches of his own from Cypress Dog Rescue, said, In these difficult times, our teams are working around the clock to help bring customers home and fly essential supplies into the UK and to communities around the world most in need. As well as bringing in the supplies on these flights, we are pleased to support this mission and bring these new four-legged family members to the UK to give them a chance at a better, more comfortable lives with their new owners. At British Airways, animal welfare is important to us and we know how important it is to our customers. We are sure their arrival will bring real, much-needed pleasure to their new families during a challenging period. Andrea moved to Cyprus 11 years ago to open a clothing store before launching her charity in 2011 after coming across a shockingly large number of stray dogs in the country. She rescued Elsa when she was discovered as a stray by a member of the public and taken to a municipal pound before rescuing Hugo days later when he was discovered in a field. When she first found Elsa, she weighed just two stone, three pounds, little more than half the healthy weight for a dog of her breed at four stone, four pounds. While Hugo was even more underweight, weighing one stone, eight pounds, less than half the healthy size for his breed at three stone, nine pounds. 
Being such low weights can damage dogs' organs, but other than severe dehydration and starvation, miraculously, neither Elsa nor Hugo were suffering from any other medical conditions. Emma Billington from Dogs for Rescue, where the pooches are currently staying until they find their forever homes, said, Andrea went to extraordinary lengths. We are in constant awe at her ability, will, and determination. We are so proud to know Andrea and to be able to take some of her dogs. The behind-the-scenes level of organization and stress to make this happen is hard to comprehend. She is so brave and so selfless.